Greetings, folks. Cross Train here, coming to you again today from World of Tanks, of course. I am going to share another battle in my continuing journey with my love-hate tank. The one that I absolutely hate to play against, but in perhaps even a more complete way, love to play. This is a two-tier battle, 9 and 10, so I'm minus one in this matchmaking is a tier 10 battle. And teams look relatively even-ish. They have a wheelie, I'm in a wheelie. Only difference is we have a T-49, they have a T-54 lightweight, which is a much better tank in my humble opinion. I'm just doing some early spotting, and you can see that EBR, even though I didn't get credit for much 80 of the spotting, I did uh, just, and just like that, bang, enemy EBR out. At any rate, I'm just doing some early spotting, uh, got him lit up a few times, my neighbors in the back all put a hurting into him, I'm just going dark here, again, just doing some Circus, you are going to see in this battle, I think, many of the reasons why the EBR is so, so frustrating to play against, particularly late in the battle. And those moments will become obvious to you when you see him. I've got an SDI moving up into there here. Got a Yudez 1516 is also moving up in here. So again, I just want to spot him and then I see that 263 and I go, oh boy. Didn't want to take a shot from him. So I'm back in this hole and the Yudez 16 comes up and luckily misses me. Then I spot good old sweet pancake back there. Picking up a bunch of spotting on him. And I decide it's probably best to get out of Dodge. So I'm running away until it cools down just a little bit over here. This tank is... Again, if you play this game, you understand. This tank is extraordinarily frustrating to play against. This variant here, the EBR-90, the Tier 9 drives along at 85 kilometers an hour. As you could see by my driving a little bit early, and I'm really just finally kind of figuring these out after, oh, I don't know, I probably have 150 total battles in the wheelies, all gears, or all tiers. I decided to go up and harass this Utah 16. Which, by the way, was my favorite tank in that uh, in the Swedish line. Maybe get a little greedy here, because I eat a 445 hit point shot there. I see this 26. What is it? 263 over here. I decide I want to swing up behind it and hit it and then oh my gosh I find their tier 10 you'd have sitting right there watch what happens to him you won't watch but watch my assist screen come up yikes 1100 1400 damage assisted in seconds there's a, a shot that's absorbed by my tires from the T54 lightweight as I drive by, destroy the object 263. So again, as I started to say before I so rudely interrupted myself, you can see with the speed of this thing, with the maneuverability of this thing, it is extraordinarily frustrating to play against. It is extremely nimble. I picked up this trick from somebody I'm not sure 
on YouTube. I very, very, very rarely, won't say never, but very rarely do I go into maneuverability mode. I always, again, always meaning 97% of the time, I travel in fast mode. The reason is the tip that I heard was all you have to do in fast mode as you're moving along and you want to turn, just take your finger off the acceleration key and turn and you will do a nearly on the spot turn. So very rarely do I get into maneuver maneuverability range or mode I should say. And watch this. Woo. Oop, didn't miss me. And now he's in trouble. Again, the so so. Anyways, I don't use maneuverability mode unless I'm in a very very small confined space, and I don't want to be sliding all over this place. You've seen what happened a few times here as I turn and just slide. Now here's a classic brown stain moment here. Oh my gosh, at 40 out 5 just shot at me and missed. Thank goodness. I come up here there, I pick up my scout metal, pick up the already and the 40 out 5. I assume I decided to take out the already first just because I could take him out probably before the 40 out 5 reloads and then I'm coming back ah bad now watch that check that out that's why this thing is so frustrating I just ate that he shot me with AP which I don't know what's that 1250 damage on the AP shell from that tank and he hit me in the wheels and did nothing but damaged my wheels which a quick dab of my four key which repairs had me up and running good as new. Another reason why this tank is so incredibly frustrating to play against. These wheels absorb stuff, absorb shots, and it's great if you're the driver of this vehicle. It sucks if you're the FE40 OT5 and you just shot into a lightly armored tank and he absorbed your shell with no problem. I decide I'm alive. I might as well stay alive. I'll let these guys take care of him. And that is that. I have four kills. 2317 damage. This is what's shown here. And I think this is all complete. And 3942 for assist. Almost 4,000 assisted damage. 2300 damage dealt. So a nice 6200 damage combined in this game. And, again, I think this battle had a little bit of everything. If you played against wheelies and you hate them, this battle is kind of the reason why. If you played wheelies and you love them, this battle is kind of the reason why. And if you've just started playing wheelies and you haven't quite figured it out yet, keep going after it because it does become easier to control and figure out what you're doing with them as you get more battles in. So, let's real quick take a look at the post game stats so here you have it it was a first class nothing terribly fancy did pick up a scout medal as I saw uh, so again nothing terribly fancy scouted out or spotted nine tanks had uh, five assists 3942 assist damage 2317 for uh, straight up damage earned three bonds that's because of this medal here so uh, just a, a nice, decent, I mean, for me, it's a good game, but, but for a good player, this is a, you know, a decent game. But uh, really good, 1,241 base XP is good for first class on this vehicle. And you can see um, that this is uh, nicely spread out damage on our team as opposed to, I mean, this team had some guys who really worked it up at the top end, but eh, it's kind of tough at the bottom end. So 
I know I've been on those teams many, 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 many times. So I get it. 14 shots taken, 12 uh, that I hit, and 11 of those were penetrations. So I did fire a lot of AP, regular AP there, where I normally would fire if I'm at Tier 9, particularly early in a battle. I'm firing a lot of HE just because I figure I'll run into lights first and that kind of stuff. But in this battle, since it was a Tier 10 battle, I think I fired mostly regular AP shells. Again, not much to see here. Uh, nice little uh, cache here. A couple of games after this, I actually was able to complete the XP grind for the EBR 105, and I was able to buy it. And I've only got one game in it so far, and it's really good. So I'm looking forward to playing that a little bit more. But again, I just wanted to kind of bring this game because... I think it's so demonstrative of what's great about this tank when you're driving it and what sucks about this tank when you're playing against it. Not just this tank, but this whole line of wheelies. They are going to get nerfed at some point in the near future here, so I'm going to go out and enjoy my 105 a bit more before they nerf the heck out of them, and they're probably no good to play anymore. So, But for now, I just wanted to share this battle with you. It's been a couple of weeks since I shared something, and this was a fun game. And it looked pretty good uh, in the final result, again, as far as a guy of my talent goes anyway. So until next time, this is Cross Dream coming to you from World of Tanks. And I will see you on the battlefield. Peace.